Shoplifting is the act of taking unpaid merchandise, hiding it, and leaving the store without paying, or even just taking the merchandise and running out the door with it. This can be from low-cost items to highly expensive items. Cleaning and maintenance staff. You should keep an eye on the cleaning and maintenance staff also. Not that they're not trustworthy, but you're there to help protect the customer's property. They play a very important role in the day-to-day -day operation, and most of them are trustworthy. Customer service rep. Sometimes it may feel like you're wearing a sign on your head that says, customer service, ask questions here. But remember, people are looking for anyone to assist them. Teenagers and skateboarders have always been attracted to the mall, and their behavior can range from quiet to loitering to theft and shoplifting, to fighting, and even to rioting and store window smashing. Alarm response. There may be times when your dispatcher or an alarm company will notify you of an alarm activation on your site. These could range from an after hours possible break in alarm to a panic or hold up alarm activation. Patrolling. Many shopping centers will require that you perform a patrol of the property. Security officers of patrolling should constantly monitor for risks. Your post instructions will indicate the appropriate rules concerning your patrolling. Some of the basic patrol duties include parking lots. Parking lot patrols are an important component to retail security. Highly visible patrol vehicles or uniformed security officers circulating through parking areas have proven to be invaluable as a deterrent to unwanted behavior. Dumpsters. Be sure to check the rear of the buildings, especially around the dumpsters. Very often dumpsters and the area around them are used by crooked employees to hide stolen merchandise. If you observe any signs of this, notify your supervisor. As a security officer, you may be thinking, why do I have to be concerned about protecting a crime scene? My job is to patrol post or drive a patrol car and observe and report. Well, that's true, but the fact is, you're more than likely to be the first person to discover a crime scene and the first authorized person to take charge in protecting it until the police arrive. Although fingerprints can be identified, they don't come with name tags. If you touch something and leave your fingerprints, the CSI technicians will spend a lot of time trying to identify whose prints they belong to, only to find out that they're yours. That would be pretty embarrassing, wouldn't it? Cameras are useful as both a deterrent and a way to catch thieves if a theft or a scam ever takes place. Cameras are best used when they can cover everywhere in a store or at least a wide range of areas so you can spot any suspected thieves. Most camera systems record the video activity so that management can go back and look over the recordings if needed in the future.